Right. So Depp and Cruz back at it again, huh? <laughs> We're diving into this um, this article about Day Drinker, this new action thriller. What do we got here? Oh, yeah. This one definitely got people talking for yeah. sure. This article, it uh, points out how this is like the fourth time these two are working together. Fourth time. Wow. Yeah. You know, think back to like uh, Blow, their chemistry in that one. It was oh, yeah. electric, right? And then Pirates of the Caribbean. The sparks were flying there too. Even in Murder on the Orient Express, where it was more of an ensemble cast, they still like really stood out. That's true. They've always had this way of like captivating audiences when they're together on screen. And this time they're playing characters... Um, who get caught up in all this intrigue all on a cruise ship. So we got a bartender and then this mysterious day drinker and they end up like thrust into this dangerous criminal underworld. Mm, the day drinker thing. That's kind of like the first thing that jumps out at me. It makes you yeah. wonder, right? Like, is that a code name or is it uh, some kind of red herring or maybe something else entirely? Yeah, definitely leaves you guessing. And then how's that unique setting? You know, being on a cruise ship going to play into everything. Will it be this backdrop of like, luxurious danger or could it even be like a potential escape route Ooh, i like that uh. That'd be cool you know for me sometimes the most interesting part of a film honestly is who's behind the camera and in this case we've got mark webb directing you might remember him from the amazing spider-man oh yeah but um he's also done some really interesting work with like indie films like 500 days of summer oh yeah 500 days of summer that was great so i'm curious to see how that experience might translate to day drinker you know the indie stuff how it might mesh with the big action i see what you mean i'm kind of thinking about webb's whole career and i wonder if with this one we might see a blend of that blockbuster spectacle but also that like really good character development that you often find in indie films it's a tough balance to strike you know but if he pulls it off it could really make day drinkers stand out from the crowd. You know what I mean? Like, could we see those quiet character driven moments amidst all the action the way he did so well in 500 days of summer? Yeah, that would be really cool to see. And speaking of action, can't forget the screenwriter, Zach Dean. He's a, He's really good at those high octane thrills, right? I mean, he wrote the Tomorrow War and Fast X. Exactly. With Dean writing this, we might be in for some like seriously intense action sequences. Remember like the kinetic energy of the Tomorrow War, all those crazy battles. Oh, yeah. Could we see something similar playing out on the high seas? You know, maybe like a chase scene through those uh, maze-like corridors of the ship or a daring escape from like a lavish casino. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good it's one. It's fun to imagine the possibilities. You know? Yeah, totally. Yeah. And then we've got like the whole powerhouse team working behind the scenes on this. We've got Thunder Road who are known for their, you know, really gritty action-packed films oh yeah like john wick exactly john wick and then there's 30 west involved too right with thunder road being a part of it that kind of suggests a certain style for day drinker i mean we might see that same level of like super stylized action and world building that they brought to john wick you know yeah that would be awesome it's exciting to think about how they might bring that aesthetic to a cruise ship setting it could be really unique totally and then on top of that, you know, Lionsgate, they seem really confident in this film's global appeal. I mean, they're already like launching international sales for it. They kick things off at the American film market or AFM, which is uh, it's a huge marketplace for international film distribution. Oh, wow. OK, so they're really going for it. That's a pretty clear sign that Lionsgate sees a big like international audience for this film. You know, when you combine Depp and Cruz's star power and then you add in this like thrilling premise and a really strong production team, Daydrinker starts to look like a like a very attractive package for international distributors. Yeah, it, it's interesting, too, that this film marks um Johnny Depp's kind of returned to those big studio films. You know, he's yeah. been focusing on those independent projects for a while now. Yeah, that's true. Given all of that, you know, Depp's uh, recent career shifts, it'll be fascinating to see how like audiences and even the industry itself respond. Daydrinker could really be a significant return to that kind of big budget filmmaking that he was known for, you know, before he took a step back. Yeah, that's a good point. So, I mean, based on all this, everything we've talked about, do you think Daydrinker will like, actually live up to all the hype will it be a must-see film or are you like taking a wait-and-see approach hmm 
You know, there's a lot of potential here, that's for sure. I mean, you've got Depp and Cruz together again. You've got Webb's like unique directorial style, Dean's uh, expertise with action, and then this powerhouse production team. All that definitely points to something exciting. But, you know, honestly, whether it truly lives up to the hype, it's all going to depend on how all those elements actually come together on screen. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. Well, I guess we will. All right, everyone. Until then, keep exploring and uh, stay curious.